if it looks like I just woke up, it's because I did. But we're heading to do a little bit different kind of fishing, doing a little small mouth fishing, a little spotted bass, maybe even some large mouth, but river fishing, you know, and that's something, uh, you know, it should be good. I don't know, we're gonna have to see. We only have three hours, Brody's gotta fly out at two, so by the time we launch and everything else, we only have a few hours to make this make this thing work, so hopefully we can get, catch you guys a couple, a few fish, and hopefully in the day, uh, get old stupid tube on a bass. That's all we gotta do. Got a good buddy of mine showing up here in a little bit. We're almost to the ramp. We'll see you guys in a second. We'll do a lot of things. I ain't just jumping in for no reason though. <laughs> not for a hundred dollars. I'm not doing it. Absolutely. I don't know. So they gotta be, you're only allowed to have one 18 inch smallmouth a piece. So we're gonna see if he's 18. If he's 18, we'll put him in there for a picture later. Come on, stop it. Stop it. Uh, I'm gonna say he's not. Good job, Bradley. Back up. Sit, sit. Nope, he's not. That's the thing. Hey, look. I'm gonna try to teach you guys how to measure real quick here. Sit down. Bradley. Sit down. Okay, look. Let me keep my gloves off so I don't mess up his slime coat. Okay, now push down there. Make sure his mouth is closed. So what you do like that, that don't count. That ain't keep right there. Put it right there. Go down here. You can fan his tail. You can tell that fish is not measured. He's just short. Still one of the good looking fish. Absolutely. Wreck that spin rate though. See you buddy. No, he knocked. That's big. I think we could hook set in him. There we go. That's a little bit better one right there. That's a little bit. Are you gonna kiss? Don't, don't, sucker. Ah, uh -uh. get back out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Pretty small. Get. Mm -mm. Uh, I think that's gonna definitely. That's definitely gonna keep. Well, this is a cool picture. Hopefully. 
So now, oh yeah, 18 and a half inch. Red. Okay, that's one thing I'm gonna tell y'all. One thing about these river smallmouth, Tennessee river smallmouth, an 18 incher, right now, this way, this probably weighs about two and three quarter pounds, maybe, maybe right at three. Let me put him in the water. Valley back up. Valley back up. Don't fall in. <laughs> yep, in there. Capture him for a picture. St. Lawrence River smallmouth, uh, they weigh like four pounds. <laughs> I swear to you. I'll show you guys what I'm throwing right here. This right here is Storm Coastal 360, three inch, one ounce accent spinner bait. This is right here is a uh, little blue glimmer. Little contrast, I like that color. Catch them obviously. And we're just fishing these little eddy ones. I'm gonna try to slide that up in there again. All right, we got the spinner bait. This is that little swim bait throw a lot of times on the back of my spinner bait just holds up better than a Kai Tech and a little three inch. It's a white one. I'll put this one just through the spinner bait I got right now. Went in the garage, got some rusty spinner baits. The first one is the actual one I wanted to fish, fish with, but this one work fine thing. We'll find out. Yeah. Little bitty guy. Bart. On braid, so it don't matter. <laughs> oh, you're down here? That's a good spot. I'll sit in the back where I belong. I'll sit in the back. Don't mind me. It's okay, though. I'm going to go ahead and stay back here. Try to do my thing. Try to catch a small mouth. Damn, I got hung up. I got five nine. I'm good. I'm good. You hung, bro? I'm worried, I good. I broke mine off. I'm straight. I'm going through old rusted hooks. There we go. Oh yeah, you, you, you caught one on it too. We all we all caught a fish. Brody's broke them all off. Dude, I just had one golly whop that thing. God, like, woo, my door. I'm like, God. And it was like, woo, and I was like, ah, oh, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> How's that stupid tube count going, Brody? <laughs> What's it now? Two left. We started with like 18, I think. Man, that's not good. <laughs> so we got, hey, he's done. He's done getting better. I got him away from the tube a little bit, but I've, every once in a while I gotta bring it back. No, he's doing good right there. Bring it back into the uh, the equation. He's a rubber side of the boat. What about it, Peters? It's good stuff. Now we've all caught. Caught two? Yeah. Yeah? We think, Brad. Thank, bud. There he is. That ain't no bass. That ain't, oh, it's a giant. Probably 12 pounder. Let's go. Don't even. Oh my gosh. Don't come off. Biggest, biggest smallmouth. This smallmouth is the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught in my life. Oh my gosh. It's a big giant. No, it's a drum, Bradley. No. Oh, I done jacked him up. Come over here, you sucker. Oh. 
Rod loaded up nicely. Hey, let me get him. Hold up. What do you think, Riley? Yeah, that's a big one. Hey, hey, that'd be the worst thing ever to get hooked. Oh. Pull up. Here we go. Look at that thing. We gotta get a picture of that thing. Look at that. Woo now that. What that? What is that, Peter? That's a true Tennessee River smallmouth right there. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, sorry, coach. Belly flop. Gosh, bro, let me wipe this off. That's what I'm talking about right there. What do you think, Peter? I think this is the gosh darn Tennessee River. The hammer hole right there. Hammer hole. Get it. We always talk about. Oh, this is your hole. <laughs> it's, it's my hole. I, didn't do it. I said, man, let's go down here. I got a little spot. Gosh, I was not coming off. Bradley, back up. Rally, back up. God. Here we go. What do you think, guys? You want to kiss him? So, all right, all right, I'll, 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 get, I'll break it down. So, Brody, hold up. Brody, Brody's lost 747 stupid tubes. So we were down to the rusted stupid tube heads. This one's pretty rusted. So I told him, I said, grab your stupid tube head and put it on there. I said, you know, tell everybody at home what you're doing because they need to know. Because points sometimes, you know, hey, if you, sometimes you can actually hook them on like, like pointless. I mean, in practice, you bend your stuff in and you'll like, you'll, you'll hook them. So, I mean, I told him try it. Well, he, he hooked one, but it, but it actually broke, so. And I thought he actually hung up on a tree. I actually did. I thought he was hung up on a tree and a big squirrel come up. So I don't know if it was a bass or another drum or what it was, but he actually did hook one. And But if he wouldn't have lost 700 of them, he'd have just caught it. So that's all that matters. Look at Ralph. Come on, boy. Good job. Going lead right there, Brad. There he is, son. That's a 13 inch small. Yeah. Uh, he's got a little belly on him, though. Not much, but a little bit. You know, he's, he's been eating, eating swim baits. Ah, that's good. Got here. Shamu <laughs> done took off, put him in the tail. We got a net in here, Peter. I'm gonna need your help. I think it might be, dude. I don't know. Big Is head? I don't know. Careful, don't do it yet. He, he, ain't, he, ain't, he ain't done. Hey, no. hooked. in the mouth. He ain't hooked in the mouth. I know that. I want him to get up there and jump. That's what you see. <laughs> it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> we gotta get it in to know if it is, you know? Yeah. See, bro, you got a little thing out right now. Like, I think you're supposed to pull a scale off and send it to me. Really? Uh, I, I read something. Did you get a net in here, though? No. 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 I don't net bass. I uh, know you don't, but. I'm not allowed to. I don't know if you just have one. You're not gonna get it. Hold up. Brody, thanks, thanks, thanks. Brody. Hey, there's, there are two bees. Been here before. Last time I did this, had an 85 pound catfish on down here, and we got. By the time we got it in, it was two miles from where we cooked it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have done this before. Well, they got to tire out, right? Yeah. Some point. <laughs> Probably like hooked in the freaking tail. Otherwise, I'd have had him. Get have over in that slack water, not. I don't know, you're probably wearing down quicker right here. That's what I said. He's right, well, he's going down here is my problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Dude, I had my hands are slipping off of me. Rally, back up. Rally. Give me four points. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's a buffalo. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's a buff. Oh. Okay. Can we get the hook out of real quick? Yeah, I just want to make sure one. Oh, here we go. Peter's with the land job. With all that Asian carp nonsense that's going on, I want to make sure. It's a trash fish challenge, baby. <laughs> Dang, big buffalo. They get after them. I'm going to pause and take a picture. I think I'm wrong. That's another buffalo. Yeah, what's up, bro? All right, it's happening off a rock. See, the key is when you deflect off the rocks, Peters, you got to let it happen. I got you. I'll bring it up. Oh, man. Look at that thing. Here you go. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> we freaking got some thing. Big old golden drums. All right, everybody. We, we had a good time. My buddy Chris Peters, Brody, he's got to hop on a plane. The three hours of film. Hey, that's a pretty good three hour day. We think we caught almost eight or nine. And uh, caught a couple big drum, a big, what is it, buffalo carp? Buffalo carp. One too bad. Hey, you cannot complain on a winter day, catch a few small mouth spots, catch a few fish, and getting out there and uh, getting your line straight, that's for sure. You can get a couple pictures of these fish and end up letting them go back and hopefully they get a little bit bigger. That's some nice ones. I'm telling you, they're gonna get a lot fatter too. That's one thing. Them suckers will get fat.